Roy, how you going guys? So on TikTok, Matty, a young guy, um, leave a, a couple of questions um, on one of the videos I've been doing with some fabricating whatever on this Toyota. And he was asking about doing body work and metal work on a Crown Vic for putting new rockers in it and some rust repair on, I think, the front fenders or front mudguards. Um, so I said to him, look, I'll do a shout out video for some channels on YouTube to go look that do a lot of metal fab making parts for cars and whatever, like body work making parts for cars and stuff like that. So I went through, made a bit of a list. Um, I've flipped through what I watch regularly. There's bound to be plenty of others. If there's anybody else out there watching this video and I've got some good recommendations for guys that build stuff and make stuff that I haven't listed on here. I've got, I don't know, 20, well, 15 or 20 here um, channels, and I'll leave a link to all of them, and I'll put their logos up and everything on the video when I edit it. But here's, here's a few, right? Um, so the first couple was um, Outlaw Ridge. Now, that's Arco. Um, He's in Minnesota, um, up near the Canadian border. He's got a lot of videos on bodywork, metal work, fab work, English wheel, you name it, um, making panels and all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's one good channel. If you wanna go learn how to make stuff and see how it's made and what to do and the gear you need, um, yeah, Arco's awesome for it. Um, also, Iron um, Horse Garage, um, real good mates of mine as well, so is Arco. Um, they've got a wicked channel, um, doing a lot of body work and fab and stuff like that. Um, they probably don't show quite as much as what some of the others do, but it's a lot of good knowledge there, um, and I'm sure if you ask them some questions on anything, they'll get back to you. Um, <sighs> <laughs> William and um, Jason and Aaron and the boys there um, will yeah, give you any info you need. Um, right, so where are we going to go from here? Danny from DG Retro Customs, he's over in the UK. Um, he does a lot of fab work on English stuff and European and bits and pieces of cars they work on. He does a lot of metal work and fab work because they have a lot of the rust issues from the shit that they put on the roads, rocking stuff out. So he does a lot of old school, you know, stuff repairs. Um, he's got heaps of good videos on making shit and the tools you need and just simple ways to make things. So that's Danny from DG Retro. Um, where will we go from there? Um, actually, over in that same part of the world, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but it's U-R-C-H Fab. Um, he's got some really good videos and some good tips and tricks and whatever. I don't watch his channel a lot, but when I do, I fucking always learn something. So he's got another really good video. I'm not even sure what the guy's name is. Um, but yeah, he's in that same sort of part of the world as Danny. He's over in the UK somewhere, I think. Um, <laughs> he's in that direction anyway. Um, who else? Where do we go now? Um, make it custom, Carl Fisher, um, his actual shop, its name is um, Japan's Customs, he actually built that little hot rod that's on Sonic the Hedgehog, the first one that's blowing the flames out, um, the little truck, there's another vehicle sitting there beside it, yeah, he built that, um, it's on his channel, um, awesome guy, he will answer your questions. Uh, you know, if he sees it, he's, got a, he's starting to get a lot of subscribers, but he's normally pretty good at answering questions if you really ask him something. Um, also, um, Brent from half Ass Customs, he's actually doing some work with Carl at the moment. Well, was doing some work. He's putting the videos up at the moment. Um, he's an awesome fabricator. He's actually not far away from Arco, but over the Canadian border near Winnipeg, um, about four hours away from Arco because it's Arco's in northern Minnesota. But um, yeah, he's a hell of a fabricator. He can make your shit out of anything. He's building hot rods and rat rods and all sorts of stuff. 
and cutting shit up and joining shit together. So if you if you're gonna learn anything, you'll freaking learn it from him. Um, he's a really good fabricator, but he's he's kind of the fabricator that's um, not quite. So wouldn't say not quite so fussy but yeah he's he does really good work but it's it's not quite so polished like some of the high-end stuff so he's it's it's um good ways of doing things but without being super fussy um if you know what i mean um does brilliant work though he's fucking hell of a fabricator he can make anything he's built some really beautiful cars but he's got to the point where he's just kind of builds stuff that he can just go out and drive and beat on um <laughs> so yeah, kind of bit sick of being stuff being quite so pretty. Um, so that's another awesome channel to go watch. Um, also, near car from my Kasten is um, I'm trying to think what his bloody name is. Old time garage. I'm trying to think what. It, um, has it hard? I think. Um, oh, he's over in that same area as Cal which is over in um, British Columbia near the Vancouver area somewhere in amongst there um he's he's a really good fabricator too and got a quite a cool hot rod shop yeah i haven't actually watched some of the stuff for a while but a lot of the fab stuff in there yeah he's got some really good fab stuff making bits and pieces um who else um oh ian from Russell. um he's got a channel he's also got his like tv channel which is um full custom garage or whatever it is but he's got a youtube channel and it's full custom in um yeah he started doing that about, might have been about a year ago baby maybe you know what i mean so he's got a lot of fab work on there and panel beating and whatever um doing some really good stuff um another really good one is voodoo larry um he's got a hell of a he's a hell of a fabricator he built some really fucking beautiful cars um he's got a bit of a youtube channel going too and he does little YouTube, um, little tips and tricks videos and bits and pieces. Um, another mate of Carl's for Make It Custom is Bennett's Customs over in Australia. Um, hell of a fabricator too. Um, I, think, I think there's more than just him there, but um, really good channel. Shows a lot of fab work and whatever. Um, so there's another one. Um, another one that's over in... Um, Australia, but down in Tasmania, We've got a really small channel, and he he posts up videos reasonably regularly. Um, is Clark um, Customs Garage? Um, he's got a quite a good little channel there, building. He's fixing a lot of Australian like Fords and Holdens and Valiants and bits and pieces. Um, he's got quite a good channel there. Fitzy's Fab. Um, He's got a good channel. I don't watch him a lot, but he makes it a lot of stuff. Um, he's another really good channel to learn how to just build stuff and make stuff and weld stuff together. Who else have I got on here? Um, Rat Rods for Africa. Diff, this is the guy's name. It's V-I-F-F. -F. He's over in South Africa. Um, down, right down the bottom. Sort of, it's a place called Muscle Bay, but he's a wee bit inland. Um, yeah, he's he's a, builds rat rods, but he does a lot of fab, a lot of metal work, lots of easy, cool tricks and tips and bits and pieces that most people can do with limited tools. Um, yeah, another really good channel. He's always building something um, really cool. He's an older fella. I don't know. He'd be he might be in his late fifties or could be even in his sixties, but freaking out there building cool shit. Um, Hang on, so I just about got through my list here, I think. I'm just, there's a couple more here. Oh, Bellows Customs. Um, they built some beautiful fucking cars. A lot of traditional hot rods and customs and built some wicked stuff like zephyrs and all sorts of shit. If you want to learn some shit, he's, he's, a pretty, he's pretty, pretty cool to watch. Um, he built some really good stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what his name is. Mike, I think. I think that's his name. Um, built some really good stuff. He's got some really good videos and fab, fab work and chassis work and all sorts of things. Um, and the last one I've got on here, I think, I think I've done everything anybody else, is um, Chris Birdsong from Junker Up. He's near Vegas somewhere and he 
rebuilds a lot of Dodge Chargers and Roadrunners and Super Bs and all that sort of stuff. He strips them right. He pulls them, pulls them down to the like basically the the, the bare unibody frame. <laughs> He'll pick every panel off them and rebuild them. Um, so yeah, and he's got some good. He's in amongst some of his videos. He's got some really good tips and tricks and how to freaking bust salt spot wells and all sorts of bullshit. Like he's got some really good videos. Um, I've learned a lot from all these people just watching and picking up tips and tricks and whatever. So yeah, there's a few videos, channels to go watch. And I, I don't think it'll matter which one you watch, you'll learn something. Um, yeah, they'll tell you, a lot of these guys will tell you what wire they're using and what gauge metal they're using and all those sorts of things. Um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty good at doing what they do, all of them. Um, so yeah, and they've all got different styles and they've all got different ways of doing it. And some of them are doing real high end work and some of them are doing just good everyday stuff. So there's always something to pick from all of them, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, if anybody else is watching, um, yeah, you'll, if you've got any other suggestions, put them down below, um, leave a link or whatever. Or, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of really good channels out there, but these guys are doing a lot of metal, body panels, fab work, all that sort of stuff all the time. Um, whereas a lot of other, there's a lot of other car channels that aren't doing metal work and body work and so much, and like they might be swapping a few panels around and other, other stuff, um, but yeah, not so much like cutting panels up and joining stuff together and making rust repair panels and all that sort of stuff. Like you, you don't quite see so much of it, if you know what I mean, whereas these guys, that's what they do and that's what they video and that's what they show. So yeah, you know, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, ask away. But um, yeah, any of those channels, yeah, if you go watch all of them, <laughs> you'll learn a shitload. Um, yeah, and just, if you see them doing something and you wanna know more, ask a question. Um, I'm sure nine times out of ten they'll get back to you. Most of them do. Um, they're pretty good guys. Um, I don't talk to all of them, but I, I've asked a lot of them questions too. You know, but there's a few there I do. There's a half a dozen there I actually talk to. Um, you know, roundabout, and there's a few that I actually really talk to. <laughs> um, and they will ninety percent of them will ask answer a question, or you'll if you just keep watching, you'll. We will learn the learn the answer somewhere along the line. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Like, share, and subscribe.